Hello doers and welcome back. Now sometimes we lose stuff. It happens. Now with that in mind, to successfully manage our inventory here at Stealthywood, we need complete traceability for every product that moves through our warehouse. Now in order to do that, we use lots and serial numbers to keep track of everything. A lot is a specific batch of an item that was received, is currently stored, or was shipped from our warehouse. Lots can also be for something that we produce ourselves. Now every lot is assigned a unique number to facilitate tracking. Every product in a lot has the same lot number. The lot number on a single product can trace it back to a particular group, which is helpful if you need to handle a recall, manage expiration dates, or narrow down the source of an issue. A serial number is a unique identifying number assigned to a specific item, sort of like a fingerprint for products. These help you trace multiple units of the same item in a meaningful manner. But what's the difference between lots and serial numbers? Well. A lot is useful for products that you make or receive in large quantities, like clothes, food, and serial numbers are good for products that might require after-sale services, like smartphones, laptops, or cameras like the one that I'm staring at you at, breaking the fourth wall. All right, now that we got that basic knowledge under our belt, are you ready to get lost in the lots and eat a big bowl of serial numbers? I know I am, so let's jump in. So here I am on the main inventory app dashboard over here. Now from here, I'm going to go to configuration and settings. We're going to scroll down until we reach traceability. Make sure the checkbox next to lots and serial numbers is checked off and hit save. If we wanted to, this one over here for expiration dates is also good. If we needed to also track our products by lots and serial numbers for their expiration dates, but we don't need that right now. However, if you'd like to learn more about that, make sure you check out working with perishable products so that you can learn some more. All right. Speaking of products, let's go check some out. We're going to go to products and products. Okay, I want to track our always popular storage box by lots. So I'm going to go into storage box right now. Make sure that product type is storable product or else this won't work properly. If we were anything else, we wouldn't be able to track it by lots. Now if we go into inventory, also make sure the traceability is by lots over here. Awesome. Okie dokie, with that taken care of, let's order some of these. So we're going to go inside of the purchase app and select a new RFQ. For our vendor... I'm feeling spicy as our interior and they're going to sell us the storage box. I want 20 of them because I've been using that number a lot lately. All right, once we're done with that, we're going to confirm this order over here and hit that receipt smart button. Now, using the lot information we get from our supplier, I can actually dispatch these small dupsy into different lots. Now to do that, I actually need to click on this additional details button that looks like a hamburger down there. All right, perfect. Now when I do that, Odoo presents me with a detailed operations pop-up window where I can enter in all of the necessary information. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna select add a line and we're gonna start with our very first one. In this case, we're gonna do S1. Great, and I'm just gonna add a couple more lines in this case. So we're gonna do S2 as I did prior before. And now finally, we're gonna do S3. Great, now we need to add up to 20 over here. So how many do we want inside of our first lot? We're gonna do 10. Five and five over here. All right, ten, five, five. Perfect. Now this covers all 20 units inside of our order over here. Now we're going to click confirm and we're going to click validate. Now, when I actually click on the traceability smart button up here, I want to show you what happens and it's kind of cool. Boom. Would you look at that? I have a complete record or traceability report with all of the lots and quantities, which is actually really clean and it looks very, very nice. All right. So that's how it works for receiving products, but we still have to learn how to handle sales with this feature. So we're going to take care of that right now. We're going to go from home, click on that sales app, click new. Who do we want to sell to? In this case, the person always addicted with our stuff, deco addict. Now they're going to buy, let's say five of these storage boxes over here. So we're going to type in five right there. And then we're going to confirm this over here. Now we're going to click on the delivery smart button because I want to, again, always show you something. If I click validate, here's a very interesting thing that happens. I need to hit mark all done on the pop-up window to process my done quantities. Interesting. Then I see that traceability smart button pop up again. And when we click into that, we see exactly what we wanted to see. Once again, we see the five units of the storage box were removed from lot one, S1 in this case, and they were shipped out to our customer. And that's kind of neat. All right, now we've talked about lots. Let's go back and talk about serial numbers. So we're gonna go over here to products and products. What has a serial? Oh, smartphones do, the Stealthywood smartphone. Now, after I click into the Stealthywood smartphone product form, we're actually gonna click into the inventory tab 
And you'll notice traceability here should be by unique serial number. Great, everything checks out so far. Now let's see what it looks like when I purchase some smartphones from a vendor and add some serial numbers when I'm adding them over to my stock. So we're gonna go back out of here. And again, we're purchasing. So the purchase app, new RFQ. Okay, so who's gonna sell it to us? Azure Interior, because they seem to have everything in stock. Now we're gonna add our Stealthy Wood smartphone. I don't have a lot of money, so we're only gonna buy five of them. And they are $100 a pop. I only have $500. We're gonna confirm this order. And again, click on that receipt smart button. And would you look at that, we're over here. Now watch what happens, and this is important and why I didn't do it earlier. If I try to validate the upcoming shipment, watch what happens. Boom, user error. I needed to supply that lot or serial number at this point, or Odoo doesn't validate anything. Now this is because I have to add the serial numbers before registering the goods into my stock. So let's go do that now. We're gonna click on that hamburger icon again. Now inside of here, it's a little bit different. Now remember, serial numbers are unique numbers assignable to one and only one item. If I try to assign a serial number that already exists, an error message will appear. So with Odoo, there are three ways that you can assign serial numbers. First, and I'm gonna show that, we're gonna select add a line over here. And you can manually add in any numbers you like in the lottery serial column. Now the second is if you have a list of serial numbers you wanna copy and paste in here, you can actually click import serial slash lots and paste them directly into this over here with that button that you see down there over there. But in our case, we're gonna discard this right now and we're gonna open it back up because I wanna show you something neat. Okay, third, if you want them in a sequence, you can actually click generate serials, which we're gonna do right now. And you'll notice it asks us for our first part of our serial number. So we're gonna do SN, all caps, so that it looks more legitimate, 0010. Great. And we need how many? Well, we bought five phones over here. Great. Now that we're done with that, we hit generate over here. Ah, look at that. It was all generated for us. God, I love AI, tech, I love everything. Auto generation. Now, once that we're ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and confirm this over here. And now watch what happens. We validate that and pop a kiss. It's all validated and perfect. Now, if I click on traceability, we see all of our smartphones right there. Ah, and it's just what we expected over here. And we see everything, such as the exact date and time that this operation was completed and where the product went to and everything happened in that moment. Now, how easy is that? So let's go back over here to products and products. We're gonna click into this smartphone again. All right, here, I'm gonna click on the on hand smart button up at the top, how to find my place right there. Now here, we have an overview of all of our serial numbers for this particular product, as well as what we have, which is the on-hand quantity. Of course, these products aren't going to stay in my stock forever. So let's see what happens when a serial number tracked product is sold and actually leaves my stock. So once again, let's head over to the sales app. So we're gonna go back over here into sales. New one over here. Who's gonna buy these? I am trying to bankrupt the deco addict over here. Now we're gonna add two of our stealthy but smartphones over here because they also are running out of money. Now we're gonna confirm this over here. And I'm gonna click again this time over here. We're gonna go into the delivery smart button and the detailed operations, because this is pretty cool. Now would you look at that? From this pop-up window, I can actually choose something very specific. I could choose which serial numbers I'd like to use for this order or leave the automatically assigned ones that I have over here to be the ones that are sent out. In this case, I don't feel like thinking, so I'm just gonna hit confirm and then I'm gonna validate this over here and then I'm gonna mark all as done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, now that we're finally done with that, let's see how we can actually track those serial numbers after delivery. Now, while we could click the traceability smart button up here at the top again, just like we've been doing, we also have our handy dandy traceability reports. To get there, we've clicked out and we're gonna head into inventory over here and hit products, lots and serial numbers. Now here is a high level overview of all of the lots and serial numbers related to my products. If I click on the Stealthy But Smartphone, I can actually select one of these and I wanna show you some more information right there. I can actually see the smart buttons up at the top for its location, traceability, and any purchases, transfers, or sales associated with the individual product. Now if we go back over here, I wanna talk about something here. So if we go over here to the far right and we have more options over here, we can actually add additional things. We can add something such as an alert date, expiration dates and transfers, et cetera, just to give us some more information on this already data enriched page. But I'm not gonna stop right there. I can also set the filter to search for something very specific. Now, if we hit up here to custom, 
we select the uh, lot and serial number and we're going to pick contains. We could start typing in a very specific number here or we could just type in SN because I already know what I'm looking for. And as you saw, voila, it sorts it out. So we just have our phones right there. And that's pretty simple. And that's it for this tutorial. Now you know how to manage lots and serial numbers like a true inventory master. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, oh doers. <laughs>